trying to basically get you to understand the framework of the legal society. It's an accusatory system that needs to frame someone in order to have a tortfeasor. But in reality, it itself is the tortfeasor. It's the one committing the act. And so basically, when we look at the word frame, and we mentioned this in a previous video last week, it is to fabricate false evidence so that it appears someone who is not at fault committed the offense. So they need someone who is innocent, can't defend themselves, to show up or appear on the record. So you as a child, your private name appeared on the statement that the parents who acted as informants for the state, the legal state, so they place that name on there because without it, there's no one to accuse because they'd be accusing themselves under their own title. Well, that's not going to be any fun for those that run the legal game. The lawyers work for Satan and they amuse themselves on this. So they know that the parents are going to be under the same spell that their parents were under. And therefore, they're going to follow in line and the blind will lead the blind till they all fall into the pit. So without your given name in there, there's no one to accuse. Now we're going to go to scripture and I always tell people go to Proverbs pro for verbs action. It tells a man or teaches a man how to walk, how to act, how to talk, how to proceed in this crazy world we live in. Well, in verse 10 of chapter one, it says, my son, if sinners, a sinner is a debtor, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So they need you to get into the pool of those who carry the legal surname, which means agnomination, agnomen, a debt or a debtor, which you can look up in the law dictionaries. You have to take a little bit of time. I'm not just going to put it all out on a plate for you. You can look these things. I know most people are on the internet, so they can find these. Most things are online. So look for agnomen. Things like agnomen, cognomen. These are all basically under certain categories. It takes a little bit of time searching them because they don't want it to be so obvious. Okay? But um, it says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So consent is involved in sinning. You can't enter sin or debt without consenting. So you can't enter into a surname without consent to bring yourself in that wasn't there before. So that's why there's two names. Then it says, If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Now the child is innocent. It doesn't belong to the state. They need something innocent to be in there. And innocent basically is, does not have the appearance of guilt. It's free from the appearance of guilt. So when you show up in the guilty name with your private name acting as the surety for it, the game is pretty much done for the guys that are running this corruption. Oh, woe to ye lawyers who take away the key of knowledge because they have no salvation in their system. They're parasites, they're snakes, they're vipers, they're adders because they add a name onto your real name and they get you to believe it under a spell. You take the poison and then you're just basically under some hypnotic delusion which happens based on the process you know, of basically associating with snakes. Remember, the legal system is the law of lawyers. It's not the law of God. Legal has nothing to do with the Bible. It is a perversion of God's law. It absolutely is opposite to what the Ten Commandments are. God never licensed you an ability to break the law as long as you're willing to pay a fee. It was a penalty for doing that, but he didn't license you to go ahead to do it. Okay, so 
the world of these evil that are running it are part of the original nation of Israel that committed heresy against God. And they're the Pharisees, and they run all the barristers in, and I'm not having one problem loading up these videos, bringing condemnation from God on you. Because if you're a lawyer, you're going down with Satan. You've been called to the fiction, and you do the will of that evil father of the lie who you advocate. So, woe unto you lawyers, because they created the frame that took the innocent without cause, and then induced them to believe something which is false is true. I hope you're getting the understanding of the framework of this.